Hello and welcome once again to Microsoft Build. I am Nagarjuna, a senior product manager at Microsoft. And today we'll see how you can gain confidence in the reliability of your apps through easy and effective performance testing powered by AI. Well, all of us know in the digital world, reliability is a non-negotiable. You do not want your apps and services to go down when your customers need them the most. And the most common and a very effective way to gain confidence in the reliability of your apps is to subject them to real-world usage scenarios and real-world traffic in a test environment. Yes, performance testing. We did a survey of Azure customers in this regard, and what we came to know is that most customers do realize the importance of performance testing, but then they are not satisfied with their current levels of testing. Is that surprising? No, right? When your boss asks you to run a bunch of load tests, how many of you were very eager and put your hands up? I believe very few. Let's see if we can change that today. We have some cool new ways of addressing the most common challenges in this space. Lack of the right tool set, lack of time, and lack of uh, the skill set needed to run the test. And the solution we have for you is Azure Load Testing. This is a managed service for performance testing that lets you generate high scale load easily, give you integrated dashboards with client side and server side metrics so that you can get to bottlenecks easily. And then you can also run load tests as part of your CI CD workflows so that you can identify performance regressions very early in the cycle. So, enough of talki talking. Let's see all of this action in action through a demo. So, for the purpose of this demo, let's say that I'm that I am a developer working on this to-do application. This is a simple to-do application that lets users create some to-do lists, add items to lists, remove the items, manage lists, and all of that. And for this to-do application, I have a React web app for the front end and a bunch of uh, .NET APIs in the back end, both of them deployed to app service. And I have Cosmos DB for storage, and I have uh, Azure Monitor for monitoring. This is my simple app setup. I'm done with the development, and I've also tested it for functionality. So now I'm tasked with uh, estimating and understanding if the app is performant and if it is meeting the performance ex performance expectations. Well, uh, I have a high level awareness of performance testing, but I'm not uh, the expert in it. So let's see how I go about it. I have the repo open in my Visual Studio code and I have a, a GitHub Copilot setup. I also have come to know about Azure load testing and I have installed the Visual Studio Code extension for Azure load testing. So now uh, I take the help of Copilot and ask Copilot to help me with, you know, uh, testing the performance of my web application. So let's see uh, what Copilot does. So here I have a request.http file. So uh, this is the file that I created as part of my uh, functional testing. Uh, I could also use uh, a Postman collection or an Insomnia collection, or I could just uh, type in my request or manually enter my request. So Copilot is validating the HTTP file path. I asked it to go ahead, and now uh, soon we'll see Copilot creating a Locust uh, test script for us. Uh, Locust is a Python-based open source framework for performance testing. It is a developer-friendly uh, load testing framework where you can actually write code to create your test script as opposed to doing some uh, click and select operations in a GUI. So there you go, uh, APIs and scenarios that each user runs through. So uh, we have a creation of lists, getting the lists, and updating the lists, and a bunch of other things. So uh, well. Uh, Copilot is creating the script for us. If we, if we want to iteratively improve this, we can ask Copilot to randomize payloads, add authentication, and all of that. And in an interactive, iterative mode, we can get to very realistic load test scripts. So once the load test is uh, created, Copilot will also help us run this on Azure load testing. 
So the capabilities of the Azure load testing service are exposed to GitHub Copilot through MCP and uh, Copilot thus has all the context required to run these tests on Azure load testing. So this brings the goodness of managed service right into Visual Studio Code and as part of your usual flow of running load tests. So Copilot is asking me to pick a load testing resource. I'll just enter my subscription ID and uh, pick a resource in which I want to run the load test. If I don't have a resource, I can also create one. So I've selected the resource and asked uh, Copilot to continue with the resource and uh, run the test. So Copilot is now asking me if I want to monitor the server side metrics as well. I'll go ahead because this will help me understand uh, what is happening on the server side as well. I'm selecting the resource group where I have my components and then selecting uh, the ones that I want to monitor. Okay. Now, if you see, uh, Copilot uh, will now set up Copilot, if you see Copilot has uploaded the test script, it is validating the test script, uh, and basically it is uh, setting up a test in Azure load testing. All the configuration needed to run a test in Azure load testing, GitHub Copilot is now helping. It has created this YAML file with all of the config. Uh, it has uh, selected some load and duration, and uh, it has also pointed it to a requirements.txt file, basically the Python dependencies needed to run this load test. And it has also created uh, it has also created you know links to these resources that we selected for monitoring. So basically, it has uh, created the config needed to run this uh, test on Azure load testing, and the test has started, and we get a link to uh, go and monitor the test as well. So in the interest of time, I'll uh, take you to a test run that I've done previously. So once the load test completes, you get uh, a dashboard showing the summary statistics of how long the test has run, what's the response time, uh, error rate, and throughputs. And you can also drill down and get these uh, data at a request level. So I have a bunch of requests for my to-do app, and I can you know drill down and see if any of this request is doing well or worse as compared to others. Uh, I can also uh, you know see how the response time throughput and errors are uh, trending when the load is uh, ramping up. And then I can correlate this with what's happening on the server side. So I have metrics from App Service, Cosmos DB, and a bunch of uh, components that I have on the server side. So now I can relate to what is happening on the uh, client side, the response time going up or some errors showing up uh, with what is happening on the server side. You know, things like the App Service CPU utilization hitting 100%, high memory consumption. Uh, the Cosmos DB throughput uh, going up. So all of these I can correlate. Uh, but what we have done is we have gone one step ahead and done all the heavy lifting for you. So we are introducing the preview of uh, AI-based actionable insights. So uh, behind the scenes, we are uh, calling a GPT model with all of this data and the context so that uh, LLMs can help you run the analysis for you. So you get a summary of what happened uh, during the load test. You also get the key insights. And if you go to detailed insights, you can see that uh, the Cosmos DB surge is pointed out and the app service uh, uh, consumption is also uh, pointed out with actionable insights on what can be done to mitigate this. Now let's see what will happen if we pass this context back to GitHub Copilot. I'll go and ask GitHub Copilot to fetch the insights of a previously run test. Basically, what I'm trying to do is uh, give the context of load test to GitHub Copilot because, uh, OK, GitHub Copilot is unable to find the runs. So I'll try asking it now different way so with this exercise we are trying to get the context of uh, the actionable insights to the vision studio code workspace where uh, we already have uh, the context of the repo the context of the app in terms of what components are there and see how we can leverage both of those uh, together 
so yeah uh, it is able to get us the insights all the insights that we saw in the azure portal are now in the context of uh, uh, vs code and github copilot has uh, all of the information it needs now i'll go ahead and see if copilot can help me implement these recommendations So Copilot has uh, given me instructions on how I can uh, implement these uh, in uh, the repo in the app that I have. I'll now ask uh, if Copilot can actually uh, help me with updating the bicep files. I have a bunch of bicep files in which I have defined the configuration of this app because most DB uh, and the app service uh, settings, the SKUs and scale and all of that. So I went ahead and asked Copilot to update the bicep files to implement the recommendations. So now it has uh, found out these files and it is reading those files, the true agent mode kicking in. It is analyzing these files and uh, coming up with recommendations in terms of what can be done. And it's asking me if it wants to, it can go ahead and implement these uh, recommendations and I'm asking it to proceed. So basically it is now using all of the context that it has in terms of the app, in terms of the test scenario and the insights and trying to update the uh, bicep files that we have here. Again, uh, in the interest of time, what I've done is I've taken these recommendations, deployed it back to my app and run a load test again. So let's see uh, uh, how the performance was after uh, redeploying. In the initial run, we saw that uh, we had a response time, 90th percentile response time of around 42 seconds, and it has become five seconds now, 4.9 seconds. Almost uh, 10x improvement in response time and uh, almost 12x improvement in throughput. Uh, we still see high error rates, so we can go back and debug uh, what is happening. But uh, if you think of uh, where we started and where we ended up, we started with a clean slate. Uh, I'm not an expert in performance testing. I asked Copilot to create a test script for me. Uh, Copilot went about creating the script, running it on Azure load testing. Then we had AI generate the insights for us. We brought those insights back into the VS Code uh, workspace, implemented those again using GitHub Copilot, deployed those fixes and improved the performance. So this is an easy and effective way to go about performance testing. Now that you have the capability of a managed service, how can you leverage it better? Here I'm doing performance testing towards the end of my development cycle. But what you would ideally want to do is run it as part of your CICD pipelines. You could set decision gates based on the observed performance and the expected performance. Let's say you want the build to be successful only if the 90th percentile response time uh, is less than, let's say, 100 milliseconds. You, do not, you want your pipeline to fail if it is not met and to proceed if the expectation is met. You can configure Azure load testing in that manner. Uh, Azure load testing has uh, native integrations with Azure pipelines and GitHub actions. You can just add this load testing task and pointing, point it to the configuration file, uh, YAML file, and define a bunch of uh, ways in which you can run the load test. And then uh, this load test runs each time you uh, run this pipeline and ensures that you never regress on performance. Now that you have uh, the power of a managed service, you can do a lot of other things. You can run load test multiple times and get a sense of how the load test is uh, performing over time. You can mark uh, baselines and see how the performance is as compared to the baselines. You can run the load tests on schedule and get notified uh, either through email or through webhooks and or you could trigger function apps and uh, any automation workflows that that you want to do uh, you know post processing or some automation workflows following your load test so all of that can be achieved with the service and in terms of uh, simplifying the load generation for you you can simulate very realistic real time usage scenarios and realistic loads that you would experience uh, uh, 
in re in real time for your app you can generate a uh, load as high as 100000 concurrent virtual users or even more and you can run these simulations for uh, 24 hours you can also simulate a load from multiple regions so in a nutshell azure load testing simplifies uh, the performance testing for you and makes it very easy and effective uh, to estimate and gain confidence in the reliability of your apps and services. So here are some links for you to get started with Azure load testing and always feel free to reach out to us uh, with any feedback. Happy to help you. Thank you.